Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brad. Welcome back to Screamin' Pirate EDC. Today, we're going to be talking about Blade Show Atlanta preparations. If you don't know what Blade Show is, uh, I'll have a link in the description. It's the biggest knife show uh, worldwide, and it's coming up the first weekend in June, less than two weeks. Uh, I'm going to talk about what I do to prep and what you should do to prepare for this show. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so I'm gonna be going through my uh, list of uh, prep for Blade Show. If you see me looking down, I am reading from a list. I do have it on my phone, okay? <laughs> so first up, cash is king at these shows, guys. Bring enough cash. If you can't, some vendors are starting to do PayPal. Um, I know for a fact that both Kinison and Protech and uh, I believe Brian Brown were all doing PayPal, uh, either in Texas this year or at Blade Show last year. But cash will get you the immediate sell and you don't have to worry about signal strength. Next up, decide on what boost you're going to. There's an entire exhibitor list and there is a map on the Blade Show website. Map it out, know where you're gonna go. It's a big showroom. If you're only going for a day, there's no way to see it all. I'm gonna be there Thursday through Sunday and I'm still going to miss some stuff, partly because I'm gonna be filming some of it, but still, know what you want to see. Uh, next up, guys, bring comfy shoes, please, for the love of God. And I mean multiple pairs. Don't bring your favorite pair of running shoes and that's all you have. Bring two. Um, especially if you're doing multiple days or if you plan on doing, you know, all day at the show, your feet are going to hurt, guys. You know, it's just that thin carpet they put over concrete floors. It, it's a lot of walking. Um, so definitely, definitely comfy shoes. Uh, next up, have a water bottle. Bring it. No excuses. Seriously, guys. There will be water there. It's not going to be cheap. If you just have a water bottle with you, it's a lifesaver, truly and honestly. Um, now, with that being said, bring a backpack, but don't bring a big ass backpack, okay? You don't need a camping backpack. It's just getting in your way and everybody else's and it's kind of rude to have something that big on you at the show. There's a lot of people, thousands and thousands and thousands. Um, the backpack I'm gonna have with me is going to be the Mystery Ranch Urban Assault 21. I really like it just because it has, you know, padded shoulder straps. Um, I can really open it up if I need to, you know, grab something from the bottom. It fits everything I need. I do that and a camera bag just because I'm going to have, you know, camera and whatnot with me, guys. But bring a backpack for the water bottle, okay? After that, if you are an early bird, as in you are getting in at 10, doors open at 11 for everybody else. If you are getting in at 10, get there early. And when I say early, put it this way. In Texas, I got in line at 5 a.m. for doors that opened at 10, okay? And I still was not the first one to the booth I wanted to get to, okay? Uh, I will probably be in line around 4, 3 or 4 a.m. There are people that camp overnight. This is not a joke if you're early birds, guys. It's, it's all facts, I promise. After that, uh, if you're flying, only bring what you think are your, quote, coolest knives that you would love to show off to others. If you are either showing them off in the showroom floor, and again, be courteous at the tables, don't just flop your stuff on the tables, um, but only bring some stuff. And as far as you're flying, guys, uh, the case here, the, um, oh gosh, the vault Tech case, that this is the Knife Nuts one that I have. I was able to put this in a uh, check bag and put a TSA lock on the check bag and it went right through and got to me to Texas and got back home to South Carolina, guys. No problem whatsoever, okay? But only bring your coolest knives. Now, if you're driving, bring whatever the hell you want. Don't have it all with you on the showroom floor because <laughs> there's no way, but only bring your cool stuff and go to the pit, okay, guys? Just go to the pit. It's awesome, it's fantastic. You can show off stuff, you can mingle with everybody, okay? After that, if you are in line early, 
be prepared that you could possibly miss out on your quote unquote unicorn knife. What I mean by that guys is custom bakers can only bring so much. Um, when I talked to Greg over at Sparrow Knife Co and Matthew Ware, they're bringing like nine, 10 knives and that's all they could make for the show. And they're bringing a lot compared to others. I know that some are bringing as few as three or four custom knives that will either be lottos or auctions. You can't even buy one outright. But if there is one that's a first come first serve, you may not be the first one there. It may be gone. You may be disappointed. It's not the end of the world, okay? <laughs> it's just not. You will live to see another day and hey, you get to meet that maker in person and who knows what's gonna happen from there. Just be nice and polite and be happy you get to meet the makers and uh, make some friends, guys. After that, I'm gonna put it this way, guys. The show technically, technically says one knife on you to bring into the show. Um, that knife case I just showed you, I had in my backpack in Texas. I had in my backpack in Atlanta last year. And I must have had half a dozen knives, if not to a dozen knives in there every time. But it is in a case in my backpack, okay? And I wasn't just setting that down at tables and going telling makers, hey, look at this. It, it was... You know, if someone wanted to see what I had on me or if we got in that conversation, then I could break it out. Part of the other reason I have that case on me is if I buy anything and, you know, it's not going to come like from a store, you may not have a box, you may just have a pouch. So you want somewhere to put it. Uh, after that, guys, very last thing, do not, and I, am, I cannot stress this enough, do not bring anything to sell on the showroom floor unless you have a table. If you don't have a table, do not bring knives to sell. It is seriously frowned upon at the show, okay? You will get in trouble, you will get banned. So in prep, just don't do it, guys. All right? <laughs> um, with all that being said, guys, the another part of my personal prep, since I am so close to Atlanta, is picking out what I am taking with me. Well, uh, had some fun seeing people's big collections that lived in Texas. So guys, I think I'm gonna bring the majority. Um, I'm gonna bring my case and I'm gonna bring a lot. Um, I will do my best to have a table in the pit. Um, that is going to be, oh gosh, I forgot the name of the hotel. Um, I'm gonna have a pop-up for you guys, the name of the hotel. Um, I will be in the pit. That is literally what, if everyone says I'm going to the pit, that's where it is. It's typically after dinner, um, so plan on being there. Like I said, I'll try to have a table and have all my knives out. Come by, talk to me. Um, I might just have some swag. Well, guys, uh, that's all I have for today. Hopefully this video was informative to you. If you have any blade show prep that I didn't talk about, head down in the comment section. Let me know what you do. Um, and if it was helpful, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And you know what, guys? Uh, I'll catch you on the flip side at Blade Show.